and welcome to video 7 on the Scilab and XCOS tutorial series. So in the last two videos we've learned the basics of XCOS such as the summation block and the product block. So using these two simple functions we'll uh, try to draft a dynamic kinetic energy system modeling. So for kinetic energy the formula is k is equal to half mv squared where v is the velocity of the body. So uh, we'll input three constants. And now, so the first one will be half so 0.5. The next will be the mass of the body. Let's take a body with mass 1 kg. Let's keep it at 1 kg. And let's take a velocity of 5. So the answer should be 12.5. So we, in, from mathematical operations, we introduce a product block. Uh, so we need three ports and all of them should be multiplication right so just connect to the ports from sinks we select an affix block and from sources we click on clock connect to these and we should have our answer, we should have 12.5 right so the reason we don't have this is because we haven't squared the velocity right so in order to do that let's get rid of this line so in order to square the velocity we have another simple operation in the mathematical operations we take the power block so you take an input and you raise it to a certain power just double click on it since we want it squared we'll change the index to 2 then this time we should get 12.5 yes and we do right so this this looked simple enough now what I want to introduce you to is a very simple concept where if we have a time time series of velocity data then what exactly happens so for that uh, for the time being let's minimize the x plus c right so let's define a struct a struct is a new type of data set that i'll be introducing you to so let's say velocity is a struct under velocity we have a field time which is a column vector right so let's take 1 to 100 for 100 values now these need to be column vectors which is why I am transposing them it's just a limitation of Scilab now the other field that we need to have is values let's take linear velocity values y equal to x line so they will be the same so now you see the variable velocity is of type struct right so a struct can have various nested matrices so as you see time is a hundred cross one matrix and values is also a hundred cross one matrix both of them are column values so what we need to do is if we want to take these values of velocity and do the same kinetic energy calculation what we need to do is this velocity term that we have taken we get rid of it from the palette browser from the palette browser go to sources and in the sources you have an option for from workspace this stands for from workspace block right so we take that value and change the velocity uh, change the variable name to velocity right whenever you're calling this from workspace block whatever variable you're assigning it to should have these two fields they should have time and they should have values no other names will do so uh, this is another I mean nomenclature restriction that XCOS places on you so you go back to XCOS from workspace you connect it to the squared term and you're multiplying it with the mass and the constant 0.5 but since these are dynamic values the affix block no longer will do us any good so we delete the affix block 
and from the palette browser you go to sinks and you select the c scope so the c scope is essentially like the affix uh, a fitch block but what it does is it dynamically maps your output so there's a graph to show for it now select control a and o now one tiny detail that we need to take care of before we move forward is the time so since we have a hundred seconds of simulation being performed we go to simulation and setup and we set the final integration time to 100 in the c scope as well go and change the refresh period to 100 because otherwise it will refresh every 30 seconds and you'll be left with the buffer memory so after we're done we can run our model and uh, don't worry if you see a partial model like this just click on reframe to contents and here you can see the plot and here you can change the name as well it's a kinetic energy and this is velocity right so this is essentially how we use uh, the c scope function to get dynamic outputs and uh, from workspace block to actually reference uh, values from the workspace now the one thing i want to continually stress on is that these variables when you're calling a variable from the from workspace block it has to be a struct and within those struct variables need to be these two matrices time and values no other names will do and each of these need to be a column vector so you can't have a normal row vector which is why we've transposed these matrices when we've initialized them so i hope you found this useful thank you for watching